Well, some say it's the right way to come into the country. Others argue it's an immigration loophole. Eyewitness News border reporter Oscar Margain follows a Mexican man and an American woman as they exchange vows and say, I do, at the doorstep of our border. For over half a century, the Progreso International Bridge has connected people from Texas and Mexico. Today, two people from two countries are meeting halfway to celebrate the strongest of connections, their love. Diana Laura Silva is the 23-year-old bride-to-be. She waits anxiously on the U.S. side for her family to arrive before they walk on to the bridge. <laughs> while 23-year-old Christian Ivan Barragan waits patiently on the other side in Mexico. He does not have the papers to cross into the U.S. Their love story began two years ago. They both grew up with Mexican parents and went to dentist school. Their relationship flourished while sharing a workspace at a dentist office across the bridge in Nuevo Progreso, Mexico. Once crossing customs, Diana walks down the aisle, all smiles as she's reunited with Christian. They each stand on the side of their respective country. Distinguidos invitados y la familia de Christian y Diana. Justice of the Peace, Sally Gonzalez, officiating. To me, it's an honor. My father was from Mexico and my mother was from the United States, and they were married 60 years. During her 26-year tenure as judge, Gonzalez estimates having married thousands of couples like Diana and Christian. Recently, it's been more. Last year, she performed approximately 30 ceremonies at the Progreso International Bridge. Christian, quiero que vea Diana en sus ojos. Few judges on the border are willing to meet couples at the port of entry and few ports of entry allow these ceremonies to take place. Gonzalez is the only JP out of 10 in her county willing to do it. Nothing should stop love or a couple from being happy for the rest of their life, regardless of where, they're from, where they were born or where they were raised. Justices of the peace usually don't track how many marriages are performed at the U.S.-Mexico boundary. For Christian, this is a path to legal immigration. It's a safety net in case things in Nuevo Progreso get ugly. To be able to retreat to Texas with his newly wedded wife and soon to be born baby whenever necessary. I'm hoping and praying that immigration will give him his status so that he can be with the love of his life. Christian, el momento es totalmente de usted para que le dé un beso a su esposa Diana Laura Barragán. Okay, okay, let's give these guys some privacy. Next time you hear somebody say that love has no boundaries, will you tell them the story about Christian and Diana? In Progreso on the Texas Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting.